On two tonight, a family loses their beloved pet to an act of violence. Their dog was shot and killed. So who fired the shot and why? Those are the questions that they're asking tonight. KPRC 2's Jonathan Martinez is live in Sugarland, And Jonathan, a lot of our viewers, well, they're pet owners, so they'll understand how heartbroken and angry these dog owners are tonight. Yeah, indeed, Chris, anybody who owns a pet or loves animals, for that matter, is probably going to be pretty upset. This family says their dog accidentally got out of their yard. However, they never would imagine what would happen next. This is a look at seven-year-old Bullet, and more than just a pet, Johnny Melcher says he was family. He was amazing. He was playful. Um, he liked to play fetch. Um, you know, as soon as we pull in, he knows we're here. He's barking. And That's why Melcher says he can't understand why anyone would want to hurt his family's dog, let alone kill him. The fact that this happened to him and, you know, being shot and killed is just, it's insane to me. Melcher says his mom got a call on Tuesday from a neighbor telling her someone had shot and killed Bullet. The family says he had slipped his leash and managed to get out from their backyard. Come and hang out under here. Bullet was discovered not far away. He never did anything to anybody, so, you know, he didn't deserve this. The family has since filed a report with the Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office about what happened to their dog. Angry, you know, just mad. Um, sad, of course, but just definitely mad that someone would do this to any animal. Oh boy. Melcher says more than anything, he wants the person who shot his dog to be caught. I'm not going to stop until I find out who who is responsible for this and, you know, pays a consequence for it. The Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office is now looking into this case. If you have any information about it, you are urged to give them a call. We are reporting live near Sugarland. I'm Jonathan Martinez, KPRC 2 News. Thank you, Jonathan. And we learned about both of our top stories tonight from you at home, our KPRC 2 viewers. You emailed us asking us to look into those stories. So if you have a story that you think we should pursue, please reach out. You can call us at 713-223-TIPS or email us at storyideas at kprc.com. All right. Now